and I think we're uh, recording now. Yep, there we go. Welcome to RealLibertyMedia.com, RLMRadio.xyz. In our new social media outlet at Real, li, uh, I'm sorry, RealLiberty.org, um, we've got a few of us joined up over there. Freedom's Network's still up and running, and I believe we're going to keep that going. So this is Vincent Easley. I'm uh, here today with you all for a Ponder Gander. We're going to take a... And consider some perspectives. Uh, today's title is uh, Part 1 of Log It, Graze It, or Watch It Burn. The war is on. So sustainable development, uh, it comes into question. So sustainable de- uh, development, the thin veneer of governance. And uh, I'll be going through briefly some of uh, Hal Anthony's uh, Behind the Woodshed broadcast from the 12th. Of this month, uh, BTW RLM 279 for your search engine. I ought to bring you up there to uh, Real Liberty Media and uh, some of the uh, outlets where the broadcast is carried over to, uh, including YouTube and uh, Spreaker and Minds and uh, BitChute. Uh, and back to the most important place is the Blockcaster page right here on Real Liberty Media. That way you can follow along with all of the uh, the information provided by uh, by Hal. And uh, I do uh, uh, style myself somewhat after Hal Anthony, uh, uh, I guess in my mind anyways, and pattern of thinking I, I see as he does. He's a, he's a pathfinder, and um, so I, I guess I might be considered then a follower too. I follow along that path that he's cleared out and provided. Uh, been listening to Hal for several years now, and it was a great honor to be able to meet him um, this past year, uh, about a year ago, uh, and uh, it, the fires was burning then, and uh, they're still burning out west, uh, and that's where Hal is out out in the western states amongst all these fires. Um, very great honor, uh, and again, Hal to uh, have met you. Uh, that's uh, definitely been one of the highlights of my uh, trips. Well, as I was uh, preparing for radio today, I got a phone call from Captain Carl and. Uh, the Brian Bundy's campaign manager, they're they're working together. Um, Cardiff, um, Crypto Cardiff over on the Twitter. You can find him over there. Uh, so they called to, uh, uh, we are talking about a few things there. Uh, particularly uh, for uh, Don Quixote. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, who, who likes that? Was it Rob or Frumpy? <laughs> Don Quixote. He is back, uh, back in my uh, Twitter sphere here and uh, in, in a thread, um, Cardiff is uh, engaging some of these people that they might call trolls. And again, uh, from I think it's a stupid hurts. Uh, Craig uh, is saying how trolls, the use of the word trolls, the identity is just a way of being dismissive to uh, some substantial questions. And, and I think I have to agree with that. So I quit calling them trolls. There, there's some real people there. Uh, in particular, well, not in that group, but uh, one that uh, uh, on the peripheral, anyways, uh, um, lives out the, uh, out in the northwest. And uh, Skater Dude Dave, thanks uh, for uh, being patient, and I, I really do appreciate your engagement and uh, also your muse. Very interesting. Okay, so I, I spoke with uh, Cardiff and Captain Carl. They're going to find uh, and, and send me the exact location of where to find the the, the uh, water, the water rights title, deeds, whatever you want to call it there in the courthouses in Nevada. <coughs> Excuse me. Pardon, pardon. So they're going to be finding that. Uh, and I asked them to give me an exact link. Uh, this has been some uh, controversy over with uh, some of these guys saying that Clive doesn't have uh, the water rights, that doesn't, doesn't own them, and you just basically going out there and trying to hijack all this. So I'm going to put some of this uh, <laughs> this out. Um, let me just, I'm going to start with Hal, and then, then it's going to be a hunting pick <laughs> as I go through my tweets there and recall some information, ma- mainly uh, from the uh, range reporter, free range report, um, range reporter, at the range, re- at range reporter on Twitter, so you can find your handle over there. Uh, <clears throat> um, Western... Uh, Interests is covered quite a bit there. BLM and uh, it's uh, I found them to be a very good source. So uh, we're I'm going to run through briefly, and this is a 
uh, an outline, a study guide, as Hal called it. Um, and from the 12th of August, uh, BTW RLM 279, Igniting the Sustainable Smoking Gun. Uh, and how it is engaging in uh, counter propaganda tacti uh, tactics and related work right here at reallibertymedia.com, rlmradio.xyz. Incendiary Corporation starts here. Uh, corruption, I'm sorry. And uh, so, achieving Oregon's vision for federal forest lands. Um, uh, <coughs> I, we, when, uh, when, if you're over here on the broadcast, or uh, this link will be here, and you can click over here to the. Uh, House Blogcaster page, and you can follow along and gather these uh, links. So instead of reading down through there, I will. Uh, uh, I'm going to run down through some uh, notes here. And so how is, is comparing how this uh, this method, this sustainable development out west, has been uh, uh, it, well. It's evolved over um, the last few decades in uh, education of the public. So what we see is. Uh, it's not government, but governance. And, and tying this into the Agenda 21, uh, it's got some other names. It, it, uh, it kind of uh, swaps back and forth with this idea of sustainable development. But who are the authors behind that? We have uh, transparent control, right? And transparent is not uh, that you can see it, but see through. So uh, talking in that thread over there uh, about that use of that word being transparent, we're going to see inside and, and see uh, who's at the controls of the control. Uh, so you know, see into, not be transparent. And the uh, the stakeholders and the claim of stakeholders and the use of uh, adjunct reflexive law. We see uh, visions. These these uh, There are a lot of keywords in consensus. And... And the the outline is the uh, uh, well it gets put out of place in in uh, these three words but it's the the three pillars it's uh, environmental ecological and societal and it's uh, these values that uh, I set public policy and in through House uh, broadcaster uh, you can go along this is, is incredibly substantial amount of information. And uh, you have to be able to delve into that and pull out and see, uh, as Hal does and shares with us, uh, to see past these, uh, well, smoke and mirrors in so many ways. Um, from the UN, we, we have uh, human, uh, human development reports, uh, sustainable development, and uh, this consistent terms that we see and uh, as indicators of the environmental, ecological, and societal uh, we hear so uh, c about cl climate change and uh, carbon dioxide emissions uh, I, 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 that we create, so-called as, uh, as humans, uh, are, are the cause of this. Um, I've, I've heard a lot of people, you know, talk about volcanoes and the emissions they put out. And what about the emissions from these forest fires, in the uh, which will come to the uh, let it burn uh, policy. Um, and so we have to wonder about that. Well, if carbon dioxide is, uh, is that not good for plants? Then they grow better. The more pollution? No, no. There's a lot of complications in that. But uh, we do see, you know, difference in our uh, temperatures over the years. A different, uh, uh, which is all part of the uh, what makes fire work. You know, and to what extent. Uh, if I, if I come to it, I, I've got a lot that I covered in that is also on how fire works. So we've got all these fuels. But what we're seeing is a, a global institution. And, and we'll look back now, back into the early uh, the 90s and, and the 2000s. And uh, there was, seemed to be a ramp up of more and greater fires, more um, problematic. Uh, we we hear words like uh, the landscape uh, as compared to say waterways and how the laws affect all of that and uh, how let's talk to some about that it goes into the wildlife triage to uh, let it get it and keep it burning uh, talking about the hazardous fuels and uh, this natural fire regime uh, and and then back into this force imposition of policy of global control and these three pillars. Of the environment, the uh, and the uh, economic and the social uh, 
and, and this is comes into what is called the consensual decision and uh, the key features of that as being uh, expounded. <clears throat> so what we what we have is uh, overseeing the globe uh, on a it's model based sustainability assessment and management and the use of the processes and tools and indicators. Uh, they, they come as demands against us, uh, against you, against me and not all of us. Uh, and they're, they're claimed to be uh, appropriate in uh, their uh, integration and the transparency of, uh, and being inclusive globally. So you're pinging me over in the chat. Um, I'll pause then. This, uh, uh, speak up. I was. Wait a minute. Oh, tweet. Okay. All right. Maybe I was off. Okay. Back. Um, so what we get then is we're comparing um, NEPA, the Net, uh, the Environmental Policy Act, in, in and ver versus uh, how that is read in law versus this uh, Global Agenda 21. Well, I guess the Agenda 21 is. Uh, European uh, wordology, and then it's uh, come a little different here. That uh, uh, sustainable sustainable development. Um, so Cal, Cal goes on to talk about the regional controllers and uh, UN careers, jobs, in the new normal, and uh, the educated public to that new normal. Um, they talk about evolutionary action uh, versus how saying evolutionary engagement. Um, and we are as human shields uh, used by the, the global over uh, seers. I can play a little pun on that. It goes into the fire policy and, and the weapon, the laws on how uh, we can fight fire even. Uh, road accesses being closed and so forth. And uh, on to talk about the fire and complexity. Um, Fire and the fuel load values and other considerations and uh, the restoration frauds according <laughs> to uh, the best available science. And there, there's a lot of uh, controversy in there, when, especially when you get into the uh, um, this uh, so-called climate change. Personally, I think the, uh, the climate is different than when I was younger. I'm 50-something. They don't have numbers, but uh, are just my observations. Uh, let's see. He went on down, and uh, I left off about there, and uh, <coughs> I'll invite you over to listen to how this broadcast, and uh, I think he'll probably be coming back and doing follow-up and, and uh, um, update us and uh, cutting that path, being that pathfinder in what is uh, what none would dare call treason until now. He talks about on through the American Bar Association Task Force on International Rule of Law, Symposia Section of Environment, Energy, and Resources Standing Committee on uh, Environmental Law Section of State and Local Government Law Rule of Law Initiative. That's a mouthful. Uh, yeah, legalese, uh, MD Louder. Uh, <laughs> This is where I get my law degree. Is what is legalese? It's legal jargon, and it's used to. Uh, um, well, I, I think it's used for confer, uh, confusion. So we have uh, further there to, to finish out U.S. Forest Service in China, and uh, the role of forests in sustainable development. Okay, takes out um, a lot more to study in that. So, like I say, I'm just dwelling in. And uh, let me pop back over and say uh, howdy into the chat. And how's that sound now? Am I? Uh, I talked a little louder. Okay. Y'all having brunch? Boom, boom. Hey, I'm on channel six. Who's on ten? Who's on first? Now, can you hear that funny noise? Oh, you know what it is? I know what that noise is. Let me unplug this. I bet that was that hum and buzzing he was talking about. <clears throat> Let's see if that goes away. 
All right, so now we take a little pause here. If you'll just, uh, if you'll be patient, I'm going to kill that. <clears throat> I'm going over to my Twitter and running down here, and I'm just going to run down my feed where I come across those, and I'll open them up. Uh, so interruption here. That all is not quiet on the Western Front, and that's what we're talking about—the West and the fires out there. And uh, my involvement has been uh, started out with uh, well. Vegas has been my second home since 1969. I live in Southern California. Uh, this last year, I visited the uh, the Pacific Northwest and spent some months in summer in, uh, down to California and back into Vegas. And by early fall for the Bundy trial, where I was a witness, number 303 on the uh, uh, exclusionary list, removed me from the court uh, after the jury was seated. So, Cliven Bundy is, uh, he's suing the federal government for state ownership of claimed public lands. Now, Hal, uh, he came back and talked about that, the, the claimed ownership of public lands and, and where to go with that, um, which is not in front of me. There's the Bundyville, the 99% invisible. Uh, they're getting a lot of coverage, uh, Leah Satilli and uh, Ryan Haas, uh, on this Bundyville co uh, podcast. And I am uh, at pause at the moment on that. I've got some other things to do. I've got uh, uh, an interview. Uh, I've got to read his book still. And then interview uh, the FBI, undercover FBI informant uh, operative that uh, went in on Schaefer Cox up in Alaska. And uh, I'm holding off on reading Schaefer's side of it until after I do the uh, um, interview, and I, I don't want to uh, don't want to prejudice myself. But here's uh, the Facebook story. There's a Ford by Ammon Bundy. It's on my Facebook uh, from August 22nd. Schaefer Cox, U.S. political prisoner, Ford by Ammon Bundy. And let me come back to chat and see who was uh, calling me. I'm on. Yes, I am. Hi, Chloe. Okay. And that. So, I, I wanted to pick up and make sure I didn't uh, uh, miss uh, anything. So, I'm going to be scrolling. And, and uh, for to Mike Stickler, uh, Clive and Bundy's uh, uh, biographer, uh, thanks a lot. He says... Uh, Tell me a good job. Uh, and I said the paraphrase, plagiarist start strikes again. <clears throat> but let me get down where that is. Oh, you know, I probably won't because I'm in my feet and not. Uh, well, I'm going to open that. That's, that's in, uh, not my tweets and replies, but just my tweets. But let me open that. Um, well said, Mike says. And what I want to do is click there. Oh, I guess I didn't. I could have done it without that. The modern environmental movement and the conscientable community consensus. Is man a plague on the earth a madness that must be slain or stewards with wisdom and discernment to engineer a better world for ourselves? Ponder gander. Ask entropy. Log it, graze it, or watch it burn. So that's uh, good that I came to that. So I'll just open up and start with that right there at the free range report and uh Let's index, uh, open that index. <clears throat> hey, it's a, it's going to be 420 here in just about, it. there it is, it's 420 somewhere, right now. Are you ready? And I heard somebody call me back over there, but let me come back while this thing's trying to open. Um, ba -bum -bum. The hum is going to haunt me. Yes, it is. I'm not a hummer. Yoinks. Let's see if we got opened up here. Come back. Shay. It's still humming. Um, da dum dum. Hi. I'm Sergeant Benny. I don't remember the words for the uh, dragnet. Back in simpler times, wasn't it? Or was it? Maybe you just didn't see as much. Oregon State Senator, trees saved by environmental fads going up in smoke. <laughs> and this is uh, from the Free Range Report, and I'm pretty sure they probably uh, uh, have reprinted this article. Um, let's stop. Yes, I have a slow computer. 
and internet to match. I'm, gonna, I'm scrolling down to the bottom. This is pretty good. Tell you what I want to do. Uh, see more from uh, Senator Lithcom here. Uh, and it's from the free range. So this may be original article. I'm going to go back to the top. And I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll share. I should be indexing this. I guess I'll just go in order and go back through my history. That way I'll know where I, where I opened uh, an order and bring it back to the broadcaster. So, what are you going to tell me, Anti? There's a, that. All right, y'all. Let me go back over and sit in the chat. What are you going to tell me? Quite a bit. Maybe I'd just uh, <clears throat> go through the uh, the links themselves. So I went back over there, and now it opened back up. Very good. Pretty good pictures over there and some of the fires out west. Uh, so Environment Extreme Greens Resource Management from August 22nd to uh, 2018. Um, starts off, these vast resources are burning up as we watch. The pardons, uh, I'm sorry, the paradox of forest management, that is uh, very much a paradox the, the, to let it burn. Uh, forest management is that forests are healthier when uh, uh, well-rounded policies regarding harvest, thinning, and replanting are used. Unfortunately, the current one-size-fits-all policy implies that humans should remove themselves from the forest because Mother Nature knows best. I was talking about that in the, uh, the two, number 279 from BTW, RLM 279. I'm just reading from the 12th of this month. Uh, oh, I like this part, and I think I actually used it, or did I? Uh, in uh, Harper's in Harper Lee's uh, novel, To Kill a Mockingbird, a rabid dog growls his way onto the streets where Articicus Finch and his family live. The entire neighborhood is watching, waiting, and afraid to act. They, be, they see the threat, yet because of their own weakness in the face of danger, they are unwilling to respond. Most of the town folks in the fictional town of Macomb, Alabama, simply bolt their doors and wait for someone else to do the dirty work. Ar Articus was the one man who was willing to exercise his own courage and prudence by stepping up and shooting the dog. And yes, this is where it comes up to what I used uh, about madness. In this story, Lee uses the rabid dog as a symbol for madness that must be slain. Uh, was this the madness? Unconscionable community consensus. And there came the paraphrased uh, plagiarism for you, Mike. Mike Stickler. Uh, Life in Red States and uh, Bundy Strong. You can find him on Twitter. Uh, thank you, Free Range Report, at Range Reporter. So now we go to the next one. Uh, this is in a thread uh, re replying to Leah Satilli, um, and she was talking about uh, the language that uh, in on Ryan Bundy's uh, uh, page. R Ryan Bundy, oh, I don't have it in front of me. Sorry, uh, I'll get that. His uh, governor page. Um, so talking about these capitalizations and stuff inside the language, I said uh, some of this may give over to. Uh, uh, the oxymoronic phrase of the sovereign citizen ideology without considering the legalese within the language. And that's when uh, <laughs> that's when Melissa come along a little later and want to know where I got my law degree was. Uh, <laughs> Vinny, she says, please share with us all of your educational background in legalese, parentheses, <laughs> exactly what year did you graduate from law school and which state is your bar license? I had to respond. Uh, LOL says me. A lawyer? No, 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 I'm not. And bar asked uh, to say it's a legal slang for jargon that I don't understand. Parentheses. That I understand. Some people might get that. And uh, quite the thread there. Libtard Jesus God given security clearance uh, to me and Leah. Legalese. Are you kidding me? It's a mess of ill-formed concepts spewed out in an almost unreadable format. And uh, 
I said, sorry, I'm, I'm challenging my writing too. I mean to say that the legalese is in the, the language from the uh, Department of Public Safety. Um, and then Voltron says, a.k.a. Sovereign Citizen, deranking them a little bit. Yeah, these uh, these uh, words I use. So, yeah, this was... Uh, uh, Leah says, looks like Ryan Bundy got some new information up on his governor's governor candidate site, including the dissection of the current capitalization of words on government websites. And... Uh, we the people, they're, they're comparing uh, that, uh, the capitalizations of we the people as us and we the people as those uh, people that ain't really people and, or persons, I guess. They would be persons. Legalese, legal jargon. You know, all these words really have meanings uh, and, and they mean a lot. Um, if we don't understand them, then, then we are caught in that uh, pathway of the beast, right, to be ran over. <clears throat> yeah, and this is what I said. Then I don't think I already said it. The modern environmental movement, unconscionable community consensus. Is man a plague? Is he a plague? Oh, you know what? I typoed that. I got a a. I got a in there twice. Oh well. Is man a plague on the earth? A madness that must be slain. For stewards with wisdom and discernment to engineer a better world for ourselves. Yeah, ask entropy. And that was what I just read. And there I posted uh, What Matters Worldwide, the uh, bitch shoot, the hangman. Uh, Cherry speak, that's uh, Cherry Wilson. What's Cherry Roberts? Let's so put that backwards uh, on my page. And Ellen Park, some people up there. Uh, Jeanette Finnicum talks about this, uh, about Lavoie's stand and how it matters. She also sets a record straight in the Poot Wars in the so-called uh, Blue Isis Division. Um I believe that's on Jay Grady's page. Uh, also, I, I watched uh, a couple of it's in that here this uh, last few days. And Brian Hyde um, up in Utah interviewed her. Great guy. I was really uh, glad to know him, too. <clears throat> okay. Here's uh, from the government uh, BLM.gov press release. The four amendments range from uh, minimal change in manage management to an approach providing maximum management flexibility while protecting monument objects and resource values. So all these words uh, uh, kind of mean something, right? But do they really exclude people? I'll come back to you in a minute. Uh, options to meet the challenges of providing quality recreation experiences for visitors uh, facilitating uses like grazing or gathering firewood and protecting the natural and cultural resources that we are entrusted to manage. And this is another from uh, Free Range Report Alert uh, Draft BLM Beers, uh, Bears Ears Plan. Uh, so comments needed. Um, all right. Scrolling. Let me come back over to the chat and see a uh, message here for me. Speak up again. Uh, again. Whoa. <clears throat> About got a fire going here. But the U.S. Forest Service is not here to help. Or else. All right. And there I am replying to Sky Reed. Uh, wildfire. Uh, so I had to trace this down like three. It was from. Uh, it started out from uh, Free Range Report and went to Daily Caller, I think, and then finally the USA Today, where the original story uh, <clears throat> originated, and that is wildfires uh, seem unstoppable, but uh, but they can be prevented. And here's how. Uh, in USA Today. So they're starting to blend some of this idea of, of uh, logging and grazing here in this uh, uh, maybe to uh, placate, placate uh, some of the folks out west who think everything's okay. But uh, really, this uh, let it burn policy is, is what we got. And man, fire's burning in the summertime out there with the, the heat and uh, lack of humidity. Just bam, super fires. We had a what? A, 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 a fire tornado um, in Reading 
I got a couple of friends there. I stayed last summer in Reading for uh, a couple of months. Floated the Sacramento River. Went into the mountains. Got a blaze on the uh, Pacific Crest Trail. Hiked a few sections, of course, last year up in uh, Tennessee and North Carolina on the Appalachian Trail. Very enjoyable. Love you, Dan. Dan, Tennessee. Um, I'm scrolling down. But anyways, I was giving this guy Reeve the uh, final source on that. Uh, yeah, and this is it uh, from the Daily Caller. Ryan Zinke blames radical environmentalists for turning forests uh, into, uh, I don't see the rest of the title, but they'd rather see the forest in communities burn. Burn, baby, burn. And there's Sky Reef. Uh, I guess Captain Carl's got him blocked. He says, hmm, I say, your name must proceed you. <laughs> uh, fueling the Western fires. Log it, graze it, or watch it burn. I liked uh, a video Vince Easley did, the Ponder Gander guy. Y'all hear that buzz? That's a like a horse fly or something. Where'd he go? He got in behind me. Oh, well. So uh, I'll include that as, as well as a 3R Symposium, day, day One, Economic Impact of Fire, uh, and that's by Travis and Zach Gerber. They give a pretty good uh, uh, talk there. And, uh, there's another uh, video I think I'll be coming to down towards the bottom and uh, showing how the forests were different. We, we've got introduction of a lot of different uh, in, invasive species as far as plants. Uh, Especially the cheat grass. Uh, cattle can eat it when it's green, but boy, when it turns brown, it's it's a tender box. So, uh, just the mirror. Uh, I probably got to go back up to find that. From uh, I will. I'll, I'll finish with that when I go back. I wish that bee would go away. Um, from uh, the stupid hurts, I believe it was, and, and get that. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of distracted. Oh, he's outside. Golly, he's loud. No, there he is. There's two of them. One's outside and one's buzzing my screen door. If you can get outside. That's a wasper. No, that's a hornet. Er, I don't think he'll bite me. Uh, anyways, I'll find that link. Uh, here we go back to... Uh, this is the original from Free Range Report, uh, report for, about Zinke and frivolous uh, environmental litigation responsible for dangerous wildfires. And I said, uh, while some scientists have, and, or I paraphrased, while some scientists have linked growing wildfires to global warming, most experts say uh, land management is the uh, driving force or factor. And that is log it, graze it, or watch it, it burn. Um, here's the map, FSA, PPS. This is a really good one, but you might want to find a better one. And... Uh, <coughs> Uh, it's not updated, but I think once a week. Fire locations are based, <coughs> excuse me, are based on data provided by the National uh, Interagency Coordination Center, nwcg.gov, FSA, PPS, FSA apps, nwcg.gov. This, I believe, it is the one. Yeah, and uh, I, I inverted uh, or. Uh, out of order the uh, hashtag how I started with graze it instead of log it and watch it burn but why wildfires have gotten worse you know, mega fires individual fires that burn more than 100,000 acres are on the rise in the western United States the uh, direct revolt, uh, result of unintentional yet massive and then it goes on but that's a video um, I'll put it all together in the blog so the buildup of fuels is the condition we can and must reverse through active force management like prescribed burns, mechanical thinning, and timber harvests. Uh, hashtag from uh, Wildfire Seaman Stoppel from the Free Range Report. But they can be prevented and here's how. Uh, um, oh, more news in the Bundys. Uh, the lawsuit claims the uh, defendants were entrapped by federal agents maliciously charged for crimes they did not commit and they were not afforded due process by the prosecutors. Um, uh, was it, I think it's uh, 
uh, is it Stephen Stewart, Ricky Livlin, uh, E.J. Parker, Eric? They're suing uh, federal government. Co Comey and Dan Love and Cornsey uh, are named uh, among many in the $60 million lawsuit. Uh, again, we'll bring those links back together into the blog. And uh, there's Ahmed Bundy did a, a three-hour interview with my friend uh, Tom Lockevar Stewart. Glad to know both you guys. Uh, rtrtruthmedia.blogspot.com. Check out Tom. Uh, read out news I was responding to in Maryland. Oh, them <clears throat> about being masked agents. And there's the dubious decisions in Lavoy Finnicum's shooting case uh, revealed in the trial of uh, Joseph uh, Ast Astorita. Uh, he was found uh, not guilty on lying and uh, covering up the uh, opening fire on Lavoy Finnicum. Um, uh, I'm skipping down here. Can y'all hear that? Darn it. I hope he'll find his way out. <laughs> He's pretty loud. <clears throat> How do you complain about that buzzing earlier now? <laughs> okay, and uh, yeah, in the, in that report, and uh, thanks again, Tom Burns, Oregon standoff uh, on those dubious decisions and shooting. Uh, Lavoy Finnegan revealed in the trial of acquitted FBI agent uh, Astorita says, but among these issues were did an initial 40 millimeter rubber bullet fired at surrendering Ryan Payne escalate the attempt to arrest the refuge occupation's leaders? Uh, continuing with state police went along with an unusual demands by the FBI to interview the agents from the HRT uh, hostage rescue team as a group and not record them. Now, can't see what's going on here. Secret police. More and more of what we do depends on government permission. More and more depends on ignorance. That's right. And uh, Pandora's box or uh, open infringements. Ponder Gander. Behind the woodshed. Thanks, Hal. And that was uh, BTW280. That was last week's broadcast. Uh, more on this. Uh, how the this government works. And a shout out to my friend Chuck O'Chelli, the O'Chelli effect, our hidden history. I came across a, uh, a video there that he did with uh, author Doug Valentine uh, back up. Uh, he wrote a book called The War on Drugs. That's uh, Doug Valentine. Great interview. Thanks, Chuck. Uh, thank you, Doug. And here is our new Real Liberty Media uh, Android app. It is updated and uh, maybe Skater Dude is listening right this very moment as he's jogging with our new app. Um, this is, I believe, from, and I, it's back to my Facebook page, but uh, I think this was from the uh, uh, Winds Extended uh, group out there um, protecting the har harvest. And uh, so the headline is, is this account is intended to expose the da dangerous levels of corruption and unconstraint which remain at the highest levels in a federal agency with immense powers and over western lands. I'll bring that all together too in the blog. Um, so here I am picking up the pen and pad again and I gotta tell you writing in English is the most ingenious torture ever devised. And I'm not still sure that I'm actually writing in English. I know I'm writing in American anyways. Um, Back to uh, Hal's broadcast uh, included also the National Environmental Policy Act, the uh, UN Let It Get It and Keep It Burning policy. None dare call this treason until now. Sustainable development, federal forest lands, wildfire impacts, process, tools, indicators, United Nations, real liberty media, high barks at cats. There is Clive and Bundy's. Uh, Biography. Uh, Clive and Bundy, American Patriot. Thanks, Mike Stickler. Uh, Life in Red States on uh, Twitter and Bundy Strong as well. Such is life. You know what? I think I am in replies to. 
Oh yeah, here's uh, me and uh, Flash talked about that. So let me try to fast forward. Yeah, and uh, Clive and Ben, the American Patriot, uh, they had a Kickstarter going, and it is fully funded. Yay, Mike. I like Mike. And back into the poot wars. Uh, ridiculous. Ridiculous. People are so sure what they know. Hey, the Hornet's landed. The Hornet has landed. Yeah, there's the uh, readout news article uh, on the acquittal of uh, the Bundy defendants, and they're seeking justice in over 60 million. Readout news from uh, this month, uh, the 12th. All right, so I'm not out. Uh, the Western Fires. Environmental, economic, and social incendiary corruption starts here. Wildfire, uh, wildfire triage in uh, the lawful antagonist. Again, that's uh, somehow the Western Fires covering that. Sustainable demands uh, assessment. Agenda 21 regional controller. You had a job once <laughs> and more. There is uh, find out new. What's new? on Clive and Bundy, American Patriot. Uh, and I got a dabbly uh, link there that takes you back to Facebook. And if you don't have Facebook, you can click on that and see that video anyways. Yes, I have backdoored Facebook. Dun, dun, dun. Thanks to my good friend in Tennessee for giving me that uh, exclusive uh, premier account on dabbly. Yes, yeah, so if you're looking way to shorten Hey, come over to a real person. He's a friend of mine. And he's maintaining that and not making anything off of it. I'm not using the ads or anything. But if you would like to uh, support, uh, you know, the little guy and a personal friend of mine. All right, let's see if... Uh, I, I do want to get down here and get this one more uh, from... Oh, while I'm going back down. Yeah, shout out to uh, the... Uh, was this the one I was looking for? Boom, boom, boom. No, that was, uh, what's his name? Anyways, it was a good one. Digging in your heels, what are you trying to say? There ain't no way to talk. It's the gotcha straw man smash technique. You know, things like uh, hidden presumptions that include the assumption of, I like cats. And uh, then you saying, so, are you saying you sh we should kill all dogs? <laughs> And get real on the go. Liberty Media. Real Liberty Media on the go. There's our uh, our updated app. Yeah. Uh, there's Bill Fulton. Uh, not yet got back to me. I'll have to direct message him, I guess. You know what? I'm not finding that. Where are you at? It has to be here somewhere. It was, it was. Ah, it must be buried in a thread. I'll have to find that. That gummit. Uh, I thought I had it in front of me. I'm going to scroll just a little bit more anyways. Oh, and my, uh, my Twitter's tied over to Facebook now, but my Twitter's not going to Facebook, but my Facebook's coming to Twitter, and it, the settings, I've not been able to correct that. So, here we've got, uh, uh, Everybody that's posting at Real Liberty Media on Facebook, it comes back to my Twitter page here. There's Grammy in her rocket chair. Blast off. Um, I think I some somehow misplaced that response. That It must be buried in a thread. I needed to click on something up there to see it. Yeah. So, this is part one, anyways, of uh, this uh, log it, graze it, and watch it burn. Uh, it's more of me just stacking my study up here to uh, have a looky see. <coughs> I'm gonna, <coughs> excuse me, try to uh, actually do uh, write an article. I don't know if I got an Emmy, but we will uh, we'll see how that goes. And I'm still in the study. I've been doing this for a while. Trying to study this out, 
It's been a few months ago that I, I was asked to write an article, so they might not even want it now. <laughs> but it's still ongoing out there. Yeah. And so that's uh, that's it for today. Didn't even run the full hour. Uh, and again, uh, Don Quixote, um, I, I expect to be getting an answer to your question on where we can find these uh, titles and deeds to the water and grays out there by Clive and Bundy. And uh, hopefully I'll be having them on next week. <clears throat> you know what I was telling them? I, I, I won't tell you what it's in regard to because we kept that private. But, um, I, 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 I said about myself. I'm like this little low-level guy. I'm nobody. I mean, I was there. Um, I'm doing what I can to uh, maintain a, a record as witness. Um, Captain Carl, uh, you know, you put him up on like level two. If if we were being charged, this is probably how they'd stack us. And then Cliven and others like uh, Shauna Cox and a lot of other great people that uh, up in the upper tiers there that they kind of split us up like they did actually in Las Vegas. They split people up into tiers in their levels. Um, but that was they was charging them with crimes. Uh, what I'm talking about is our level of involvement and importance. So I'm just a little guy, and I don't have any uh, desire for fame or fortune. Um, I'm doing this uh, not for pay, so I'm not a paid propagandist. Leah, you know what you've done. <laughs> but I do, uh, I do enjoy following them to make sure that uh, you know I'm not. Um, I don't pigeonhole myself in my ideology. Uh, this considering perspectives is serious. You know, you can't go around telling everybody uh, what what's what, and uh, you don't even know what they think is what. And anyway, um, consider perspectives. Uh, a ponder gander with uh, Vincent Easley the second, right here on Real Liberty Media. Thank you, Chloe. I appreciate you tuning in, and uh, I'll be back next week and maybe have some guests. Uh, anyways. Continuing on, uh, the Bundyville podcast, I've got uh, Bill Fulton, the FBI uh, that uh, infiltrated into uh, Schaefer Cox. Uh, a lot of stuff going here, and uh, we'll see uh, we we'll see y'all next week right here on Real Liberty Media. Noon Central, it's a time and location. Okay. And uh, I'll go over here and kill this. Stop. <laughs>